سفیر پاکستان آپ کے جذبوں کا ترجمان وطن سے دور وطن کی آواز اور آپ کی پہچان سفیر پاکستان آئے تماد نمائندوں کی ٹیم کے ساتھ جیو کا مصروف پروگرام سفیر پاکستان سب سے پہلے اور سب سے آگے سفیر پاکستان ایکٹیولی ورکس ٹو سٹرینتھن دی بانڈ بٹوین پاکستانی امریکن اکراس دا نیشن Thank you, Safir Pakistan, for continuing to put together a positive image of Pakistan. American siyasat mein ahem kirdar. 25 saala nashirat ka lagataar musasal lawami platform, Safir Pakistan. I really appreciate Wakar Ali Khan who carries this process very well indeed. Palbal ki sabre aur community raapto ke saath lagataar. Ubharte yor kamyaab wa kamram loogo ki daastan. Aap tak pochane mein sab se pehle sab se aage. putting up a great program, running an excellent platform for bringing like minds together. Congratulations for putting a great program together and thank you for connecting so many Pakistanis from all over America to each other. To get everybody together as a community, we have seen that he works really hard. And I'm so happy that you chose to start this program of بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ناظرین آپ کے مدبان وقار علی خان پروگرام سفیر پاکستان کے ساتھ حاضر خدمت ہے اور آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں او پی ٹی وی گلوبل کی نشریات یہ گلوبل نشریات ہیں جو پوری دنیا میں دیکھی جاتی ہیں نہایت دلچسپی سے اور سفیر پاکستان اس کے خصوصی پروگرام ہے جس میں ہم اسٹوری لے کے آتے ہیں انٹرویو لے کر آتے ہیں اور لوگوں سے ملاقات کراتے ہیں آپ کے آج ایک اور تقریب ایک اور پروگرام لاس اینجلس میں ہوا این ای ڈی کالج کا این ای ڈی علم نے جب جانتے ہیں کہ این ای ڈی کالج پاکستان کا مایا ناز ناظرین جب ہم جانتے ہیں کہ این ای ڈی کالج ایک مایا ناز کالج ہے پاکستان میں انجینئرنگ میں اور اس کے فارغ التحصیل طلبہ دنیا بھر میں اپنے کارنامے انجام دے رہے ہیں بہت سے لوگ کمپنی کے سی اوز ہیں اونر ہیں اور سائنٹسٹ ہیں اور میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ این ای ڈی کالج کے جو طلبہ ہیں ان کا کنٹریبیوشن دنیا کے بڑے بڑے اداروں میں سارے فہرست ہے ناظرین اب ہوا کیا ہے کہ این ای ڈی کالج نے بھی اپنے چیپٹر بنانا شروع کر دیے ہیں ان کے جتنے بھی فارغ التحصیل طلبہ ہیں جو امریکہ بھر میں آباد ہیں کینیڈا میں ہیں انہوں نے اپنی اپنی تنظیم بنائی ہے ایک اس کی تنظیم لاس اینجلس میں بھی ہے یہ سب سے بڑا چیپٹر ہے لاس اینجلس کا این ای ڈی علمنی کا اور جس کے روئے روا احمد علی صاحب رہے ہیں مختلف صدور رہے ہیں اس کے اور حال ہی میں ان کی جو یہ ہے دسویں اینیورسری تھی چیپٹر کی لاس اینجلس کی جس میں تقریباً دو ڈھائی سو لوگوں نے بھرپور طریقے سے شرکت کی اور وہاں پہ مختلف لوگوں کو ایوارڈس سے نوازا گیا اور ان کی ریکگنیشن کی گئی کہ انہوں نے کیا کیا کنٹریبیوشن کیا ہے اور میں جب دیکھ رہا تھا میں نے دیکھا کہ یار واقعی یہ لوگ کتنے خاموشی سے کتنے بڑے بڑے کام کر رہے ہیں جو لوگوں کی نظروں کے سامنے نہیں ہوتے لیکن سفیر پاکستان ایک ایسا پروگرام ہے جو ان تمام چیزوں کو منظر عام پر لے کر آتا ہے اور دنیا کے کونے کونے میں ان کی آواز اور ان کے کارناموں کو پہنچاتا ہے اس سال شریٹن ہوٹل گارڈن گروہ میں نہایت ہی شاندار خوبصورت تقریب کا اہتمام کیا گیا جس کو این ای ڈی کے بورڈ آف ڈائریکٹر نے بہت ہی محنت سے یہ محفل سجائی اور اس کے مہمان خصوصی تھے جناب جانی پہچانی مانی شخصیت ہر دل عزیز شخصیت سب سے پیاری شخصیت محبت کرنے والی اور پاکستان سے گہرا لگاؤ رکھنے والی شخصیت جناب اشرف حبیب اللہ صاحب کی تھی جو سی ایس آئی کے چیئرمین اور سی او ہے اور اس وقت دنیا کی نمبر ون کمپنی ہے یہ سافٹ ویئر میں جو کہ اسپیشلائز کرتی ہے ارتھ کو ایک سافٹ ویئر اسٹرکچر انجینئرنگ کے اندر جس میں خلیط البرج جو دبئی کا دنیا کی سب سے ٹالیسٹ بلڈنگ ہے اس میں بھی ان کا سافٹ ویئر استعمال ہوا ہے اور دنیا کی کئی عمارتیں ہیں جن میں ان کا سافٹ ویئر جو ہے وہ استعمال ہوا ہے جو ٹالیسٹ بلڈنگ ہے گولڈن برج ہے ٹوئن ٹاورس ہے شینگائی ٹاورس ہے یو نیم اٹ ماشاء اللہ اور میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ یہ سب کریڈٹ جاتا ہے این ای ڈی کے ان پروفیسرس اور ٹیچرس کو اساتذہ کو جنہوں نے جناب اشرف حبیب اللہ صاحب کو تعلیم سے آرستہ پیوستہ کیا حالانکہ یہ بڑے ناٹی اور شریر قسم کے طلبہ تھے اور کوئی امید نہیں تھی کہ یہ پڑھ لکھ کے اتنے بڑے آدمی بنیں گے اور سٹینفرڈ میں 
और बर्कले में जो इनके काम है और जो कारनामे हैं वो काबिल सत्ताईस काबिल तारीफ हैं और इस मौके पे पूरी टीम ने माशाल्लाह खसूस नईम सिद्दीकी का मैं जिक्र करूँगा माशा इनके मायराज लोगों में से वो भी हैं जो डिफेंस और बड़ी क्लासीफाइड इंडस्ट्री में बहुत अच्छा काम अंजाम दे रहे हैं अहमद अली साहब ने इन्वामेंटल में बहुत काम किया है फिर कुछ लोगों ने वाटर इंडस्ट्री में और इलेक्ट्रिक इंडस्ट्री में अपने कारनामाए हाई अंजाम दिए हैं इसके अलावा बायो मेडिकल इंजीनियरिंग में भी एन ने अपना कदम रख दिया है और आने वाले तलबा जो हैं वो एक और खेप जो आएगी एन की इन शाह वो भी अमेरिका और कनाडा में अच्छे कारनामे अंजाम देगी जो सबसे अच्छी बात मुझे इनकी पसंद आई जिसमें उन्होंने फंड रेस किया और एक लाख पचास हज़ार जमा किए जिसमें पचास हज़ार डॉलर आपको अशरफ हबीबुल्ला साहब ने डोनेट किए इस कार्य खैर में ताकि वो तलबा जो गरीब गुरबा हैं और इंजीनियर बनना चाहते हैं तो उनकी फीसें अदाओं उनको इस्कॉलरशिप इन लोगों ने दी है जिसमें नईम सिद्दीकी साहब ने भी पच्चीस हज़ार डाल का जिसमें नईम सिद्दीकी साहब ने भी पच्चीस हज़ार डॉलर का जो है डोनेशन दिया है और मुख्तलि लोगों ने पाँच हज़ार दो हज़ार तीन हज़ार जमा करके दिए ताकि पाकिस्तान में वो तलबा जो गरीब नादार हैं जिनकी फैमिली पुअर है तो वो ये इंजीनियरिंग से की तालीम हासिल करके दुनिया में और पाकिस्तान में अपनी खदमात अंजाम दे सकें जो सबसे अहम तरीन बात है और ख़तरनाक बात भी है मैं ये कहूँगा कि यह भी पता चला है कि एन डी में अब इंजीनियरिंग में खातन की तादाद बढ़ रही है बहुत तेज़ी से बहुत तेज़ी से खातन इंजीनियर्स की तादाद बढ़ रही है एक ज़माने में एन में दो या तीन खातन नज़र आती थी यानी कि एक समझ लें कि कहते हैं ना कि ऊँट के मुँह में जीरा तो वो बहुत ही माइनॉरिटी किस्म की खातन नज़र आती थी कि यार सोचते कभी खातन भी इंजीनियर बनेंगी लेकिन अब खातन की तादाद ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा बढ़ती जा रही है एन कॉलेज में मसला ये होता है कि ज़्यादातर खातन तो अपने प्रोफेशन में चले आती हैं कुछ शादी होकर शौक़ की खदमत के लिए हमेशा के लिए घर में महफूज हो जाती हैं तो देख लीजिए कि ये खातन जो इंजीनियरिंग कर रही हैं वो किस तरीके से आगे बढ़ के मुल्क की खिदमत करेंगी और दुनिया में नाम पैदा करेंगी नादीन आइए आपको लिए चलता हूँ इस तकरीब में शेरटन होटल गार्डन ग्रोव जहाँ पर तकरीब हुई एन के बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर ने इसको ऑर्गेनाइज़ किया और आपकी जाने पहचाने आर्य मंसूरी साहब ने मास्टर ऑफ सेरेमनी के फ्राइज अंजाम दिए और बेंजामिन सिंगर ने बहुत भरपूर तरीके से म्यूज़िक का प्रोग्राम पेश किया और इस मौके पे जाने माने पहचाने आपके शायर जनाब इरफान मुत साहब ने अपनी जानी पहचानी मरूफ नज़मों से लोगों को महसूस भी किया आइए देखते हैं ये प्रोग्राम हर जगह हर पल आपका अपना सफीर पाकिस्तान नजर आता है Kaba Fusion is a pharmacist-owned, patient-focused team of professionals with over 30 years experience providing intravenous medication to patients in the comfort of their own home. Founded by Dr. Sohail Masood, Kaba Fusion has seven state-of-the-art pharmacies located across the country. Visit us at kabafusion.com to learn more about the benefits of in-home infusion therapy. OPTV आपका अपना चैनल
Assalamu alaikum. I will invite Shweb Sudhiki, member of the board of directors of NED Alumni Association of Southern California, who is a graduate of NED Civil Engineering class of 1979 for recitation of Quran. Shweb Sudhiki Sahab, please. I'm going to recite three surahs from Surah Al-Baqarah. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Masalu Al-Lazina Yunfiquna Amwalum Fi Sabilillah Kama Sali Habbati Ambatat Sabah Sunabila Fi Kullu Sumbilati Fi Kullu Sumbilati Maatun Hubba Wallahu Yudhaif Liman Yashaw Wallahu Wasi'un Aleem الذين ينفقون أموالهم في سبيل الله ثم لا ثم لا يذبحون ما أنفقوا منا ولا أذى لهم أجرهم عند ربهم ولا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون Ashraf Habibullah, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum. I'd like to welcome you to the 10th anniversary celebration of NED Alumni Association of Southern California. My name is Arif Mansuri. I'll be the MC this evening. I'm one of the founding members of the board and I'm graduate of NED 1983 Mechanical Engineering. As most of you know, NED Engineering University is the oldest engineering institution in Pakistan. It was founded in 1921. It was named after its benefactor, Nadir Shah Idulji Dinshaw who was a very successful Parsi businessman. In 1977, NED Government College of Engineering became a university, and hence the present name, which is NED University of Engineering and Technology. Now, since it was founded, NED has come a long way. In my days, NED offered only three disciplines, electrical, mechanical, and civil. And now it offers degrees in 27 disciplines. Also, when I was going to NED, we only had a bachelor's degree. Now, it offers bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees. Now, thank you, you can clap. And, you know, I'd like to point out, and I'm not very proud of this, but this, is, this goes for all the members of the alumni, that when we left NED, Lots of improvements were made in NED. NED improved after we left. So I don't know if they were waiting for me to leave NED or what, because now NED is a world-class university 
you know, comparable to any university in the West. One of the best universities has three campuses, over 7,000 students in NAD right now. Now, allow me to tell you a little bit about the NAD Alumni Association of Southern California. NAD Alumni Association was founded in 2008. So this is our 10th anniversary this year of our founding. We are about 300 members strong. We have about 300 members in Southern California that belong to the NAD Alumni Association of Southern California. The relationship of NAD alumni with NAD is the same as of a child and a mother. Actually, it is called Alma, Alma Mater or Alma Mater. The word literally means nourishing mother. So, the relationship all the alumni have is that of a mother. I can tell you how proud I was when I got admission to NED Engineering University. It was one of the proudest moments of my life and I'm sure many of my colleagues can agree with me on that. I went on to do many other things. I got a master's, almost did a PhD, then did an MBA. But the relationship I had with NED was very, very, very special. Because for most of us, NED is not a place. NED is a feeling, jazba, ehsas. And that's what NED represents to us. We, the NED alumni of Southern California, have several programs that we have been conducting for the last 10 years. And I would like to very briefly tell you about those programs. We have consistently operated these programs. These five programs are something that NED Alumni Association of Southern California has done in the past 10 years consistently every year. We give out 80 scholarships to undergraduate students that are needy every year. Thank you. So the things we do not only benefit the students of NED but also the faculty also but let me go down the list of these things and my colleagues will expand on these further. The second thing is Dr. Rizvi Outstanding Research Paper Publication Award. The third one is Altaf Godal PhD Graduate Fellowship. Then we have a Naim Siddiqui Undergraduate Final Year Project Awards. Now let me tell you how much work it goes to give these awards. See if you have ever seen a final year thesis of an engineering student, I mean those projects are about this thick. Somebody has to read through those things. Some of the members of the board put in enormous amount of time and energy to make this happen. And you will get to meet them shortly. And the last program we have is an outstanding faculty award which is given out every year. Now, one of the things I would like to just say that NAD has a very special place in our hearts, each of our hearts. There is a little poem which says, Mere bachpan ke din, kitne achche the din, aaj baithe bithaye kyun yaad aagaye, kitni masum thi wo hansi wo khushi, kaash phir wo zamane dikha de koi, Mere bachpan, mere bachpan, kisi mol la de koi. Okay, I would like to now take this opportunity to introduce the next speaker, who is the president of our organization. He holds a high position with the Edison Electric Company. So please put your hands together for one of our own, the fearless leader of NAD, the president of our organization, Janab Zahid Ahmed. 
بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, distinguished guest, dear friend and colleagues, Assalamu alaikum. On behalf of the Board of Directors of NAD Alumni Association of Southern California, it is my pleasure and honor to welcome you all to our 10th anniversary function. Particularly, I would like to thank our guest of honor and keynote speaker, Mr. Ashraf Habibullah, who from his busy schedule and always find time to accept our invitation and attend our function. Thank you very much for all your support to our programs. NDASC established in 2008 with the goal in mind to help and give back to our alma mater and support the engineering profession in Pakistan. With this goal in mind, uh, we have introduced several programs, uh, including financial support to the needy students, recognize the award, recognize and award teaching excellence, promote and help more research work at the graduate and postgraduate levels. Currently, majority of the students at NED comes from a middle lower middle class, low income people, low income families and they need financial support to complete their education. Alhamdulillah, in last 10 years we have supported and helped more than 700 deserving students Every year, we award 80 scholarships to deserving students on need come merit basis. All these programs cannot be accomplished without your help and your generous donation. And for this, I would like to recognize and thank all of you and Mr. Ashraf Abiullah, Mr. Altaf Godil, Mr. Naim Siddiqui, Dr. Sayyid, Arif Rizvi for providing the financial support to help us continue these programs at NED for the last 10 years. Let me remind you that NED AASC, which is NED Alumni Association of Southern California, is a non-profit organization and all your donations are tax deductible. Now let me take this opportunity to introduce the Board of Directors of NAD, ASC, which is NAD Alumni Association, whose vision, dedication and commitment help coordinate our program successfully every year. I request all the board members to please stand up and I call your name. Currently I am President of the Board. Mr. Mansoor Khan, Vice President and Treasurer. Mr. Mukim Ansari is the General Secretary. Mr. Arshid Javed Sayyid, Past President and Board Member. <coughs> Mr. Ahmed Ali is Past President and Board Member. Mr. Naeem Siddiqui is our Executive Board Member. Mr. Sayyid Sharif Raza, Mr. Shanwaz Ahmed, Mr. Shoaib Siddiqui, and Mr. Abdul Asif Alor, Al Or, board members. Please, please give them a big round of applause. Well, with their so many volunteer hours and dedication, we were able to coordinate and run our programs and help, and help our alma mater. And inshallah, we will continue to support our programs in future as well. I also would like to request all the NAD alumni here today. Please come forward and join our organization and help whatever you can. Currently, we are looking uh, to have support in our IT area. So, if you are willing to do that, please give me your name or to any one of our board members. In last but not the least, I humbly request all of you to please 
donate generously towards our ongoing and future programs. And again, thank all of you for attending our programs tonight. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Zaid Saab. Wonderful speech. A big round of applause for our President Zaid Ahmed, please. And, you know, that's a, that's a full-time job, honestly. My head off to the board members that uh, have engaged in reviewing and analyzing all that data. So, I'd like to invite the next speaker. The job of explaining to you what we have done in the last 10 years. So, I, I have... Uh, a very quick uh, PowerPoint. I'll take uh, take you with on the project we have. So let's just start the PowerPoint. Okay, as you all know, this this is the tenth anniversary celebration of NADAC. This is the the picture of the new campus. By the way, I graduated back in 1971 when we were at the Pakistan Chalk. So. You want to go there, it's a really an impressive campus. Get admitted and some of them struggle to really pay that meager $500 a year. That's where we come in and we have been really very supportive. Uh, if you see the application, you'll find that some of them uh, could not have continued their education if our scholarship was not there. We start with Nowadays we start with 20 scholarships per year, so we take 20 years, 20 kids and we guarantee that if they keep their grades, we will support them all four years. So total we have 80 scholarships. <coughs> we are thinking that if we were to really collect enough funds, we perhaps could go to 100. Here is a little chart of uh, how the scholarship program has grown and you can see that in the last uh, four years we have kept it at 80 because our funds have not allowed us to increase it. Now here is another uh, pro program that we started. We were told that NB's ranking was slipping because not enough research was taking place. And again, uh, it was because of lack of funds. So we decided that we would award, research publication awards. So we started from 12, now we have gone on to 15 this year. And the university collects the papers. Uh, they have a very strict criteria of how to grade them. Then they submit the final list and then we go through them and we award uh, the publication award. And the vice chancellor once told me that it is not the the, the, the money which counts, it is the certificate that we give them as an award which they very proudly uh, put on their wall and it's, a, it's an award given by an association in California and believe me, it may not be a big thing to us, but in Pakistan it is a big thing. Next. And now there are some other projects that we have been contributing. Uh, we contributed uh, uh, 200,000 rupees for the fuel cell vehicle manufactured by IED students. Here are the pictures of, of that project. Uh, students were very excited. We, in the early stage of our, our organization, we decided that in order to find out what is the best way to serve IED, we held two essay competitions. And we got very good input from the student of what we should be doing. So uh, we gave them some awards and the, the, the topic of those two essays was transforming NED into a world-class research university. And the second was the role of alumni in promoting excellence at NED. We awarded some scholarship for GRE. Uh, we also gave some funds to an ex-NED professor who was uh, ill. We held a, a, an alumni uh, international convention and we also hosted two technical seminars. So what is our vision? We have been now 10 years old and we want to make sure that we start more programs, continue the core program but add some more. And here are some ideas. 
that we want to do more technology transfer, we want to do continuing education, we want to uh, help in the library, uh, emergency fund, uh, technical assistance, and another one is if we were to ever get more funds that we would help any team pursuing advanced degree. Now this is a new field. Uh, you don't have to really come to the United States to get a master's degree. There are many high level universities that would provide you a master's degree by staying in Pakistan through internet. And the cost is much, much less. But there are students who just cannot afford and if we have the funds, we perhaps would embark on this. Uh, believe me, uh, we can do that. This is supplied by the university. Uh, it's an interesting fact that if you were to go and visit NED now, you would say that almost half the school uh, fields. I recall that I did a session of perhaps one of the members. We used to have say, three girls, and they also came on a quarter session. Now, almost 40% of NED. Uh, and they come on open merit seats. And there are certain departments where you see the result that the top three positions are all taken by students. This is really, very important. It looks like everything is way ahead of the MIT and others. We do not see that many degrees. I say with a little experience because my own daughter is a citizen. The only thing is that in certain parts of Pakistan, when you are, if you are a girl and you go for a, for a job, then there are some issues for them. They usually do not go to Middle East. So most girls, after graduating, stay in Pakistan and in South Pakistan. This I would like to return back to life. I will be inviting our guest of honor, our chief guest, the keynote speaker, Ashraf Abdullah Sahab, to the stage. But before I do that, I would like to tell you a little bit about him. He's a structural engineer and a software developer. He graduated from NED Engineering University in 1969 with a degree in civil engineering. And then he got a degree from Berkeley in structural engineering. In 1975, he founded his company, CSI, which is Computer and Structures Incorporated. CSI created the first ever structural and earthquake engineering software Kaba Fusion is a pharmacist-owned, patient-focused team of professionals with over 30 years' experience providing intravenous medication to patients in the comfort of their own home. Founded by Dr. Sohail Masood, Kaba Fusion has seven state-of-the-art pharmacies located across the country. Visit us at kabafusion.com to learn more about the benefits of in-home infusion therapy. OP TV, aapka apna channel. Needless to say, it's, it's an incredible honor to be here. I saw what I said in the But those that know me know that I traveled all across the world talking about technology. Uh, talking about uh, structural engineering and, and other interests that I have. Uh, but they also know that coming to an audience like this, that is always my favorite. Uh, because you remind me of the times when Things were not that complicated. Uh, we just used to have incredible times, and I'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, it's also a great honor tonight to be able to 
come and be involved in a function where we are trying to raise funds for the needy. Uh, every one of you deserves to uh, uh, be honored for that. So I'm here really to celebrate, you know, uh, to celebrate all of you for this incredible effort, to celebrate this incredible organization, to celebrate the profession of engineering, and more importantly, seriously, to just celebrate each and every one of you as my friend. Um, and of course, you know, you get this celebrated up in the government, but the other guy, you know, you always shabrat ka mawka hota hai, you know, har tarah pachi hoti hai, jo phara diva Pakistan aati hai, to patiya lagati hai. Any, any time when you have a celebration, you have a patiya. So I thought maybe I put a costume change to get us in the mood of celebrating. Let me just uh, do this and then...
most educators. My dad was in the army, but he taught mathematics at the military academy in Baku. My mother was a mathematics professor at St. Joseph's College. She was the first female graduate from Osmania University. All of my, my family was like really educated, you know. Um, up here, man, my father used to say, you get shroom, shroom say, you know what I mean? When I was even in the young, when I was young, um, even in, you know, primary school and things like that, St. Paul would be a test for the Mujhe test point of a dena pada. I ran for him who's gay. Unto chamar banega. Such a disgrace to the Habibu Dhani. I mean, that's what I used to hear. But you see, the thing about education is, and you don't learn by being told. You learn by absorbing the environment. You see, just the fact that I grew up in an environment that where education was fundamental, you learn things. Same thing in any college. You see, one of the biggest things that my the education that I got at any college, from my perspective, is that my friends taught me how to live outside my comfort zone. You know, just Urdu me kya the beesharan banana. Because people, I had no interest in studies, but my interest. You know, and I just was interested in clothes, one of the personal dirty work. You know? And then um, food. We were interested in food, you know. Bans road ke kebab. Yeah. I mean, that's what we did, you know? Oh, Bans Road ke restaurant Oh, Dood Milai ke Mart Baan You know, and you were learning things. You were learning about how to have friends. What made you, what gave you the power to connect with friends. Or to, I mean, they, 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 would, they would put me out there. The biggest tragedy in life is not death. The biggest tragedy in life is coming to the end of your life and looking at all of the opportunities that you missed because you were afraid to open the door when opportunity knocked. sure that I would open the door every time. And for the young folks that are here that are just starting out, just remember that. That you, if once you learn how to live outside of your comfort zone, to try everything, don't wait looking for your passion. Try everything and you will find that the passion will find you. 
And you will then have a job that you love so much that you're willing to do it for free. And your job will be like a vacation. People will wonder, is this guy working or is he having fun? Or is he playing? You're actually doing both. So I, this is another reason to celebrate tonight. I graduated in 1969. This is 2019. 50 years ago I came to America. Yeah? And I've been running CSI for 45 years since then. You know? But don't you worry, I'm here for another 50. <laughs> Seven days a week, and people wonder, wait, you can be chuttining at the vacation because my job is a vacation. You know? And that's what you do, that's what you find when you live out of your comfort zone. And then, you know what also, I mean, my, my whole life isn't perfect. There are a few things that really bother me, you know. And one of the things that bothers me most is that why is it because look every person that we deal with is a human being right everything that we do we basically do for human beings our bosses are human beings our friends are human beings our subordinates are human everywhere we have our human beings in fact if you really get the right perspective you will find out that human beings are everything you basically live for human beings. And I'll talk a little bit about that more. But why is it mandatory for us to learn to read and write and mathematics and all this kind of stuff that they teach us in high school? That's mandatory. But nobody ever teaches us anything about human psychology or human chemistry. Why? I mean, I think if we understood how humans behave, or why they do the stupid things that they do. We would be a little more understanding. But I, I, I think, and this is, I'll prove it to you scientifically in a little while, that if we understood our human chemistry, we would be more generous. We would actually be healthier. Um, we would actually be more productive and we would be actually more popular and rich by just understanding how our human chemistry works. Because, let's just start, start with one simple thing. Have you ever wondered what makes people like you? I mean, why would you like me? Why? I mean, you like me? Why? Because I have a most amazing hat? <coughs> or the jacket? Yeah, I thought you might say that. How about my Madonna boots? <laughs> yeah? No. People like you for only one reason. And that one reason is how they feel about themselves when they are in your presence. If you can make a person feel like a bazillion bucks when they are around you for whatever reason they will come back to you again and again and again it's not about you it's about them and, and it's not even it's, it's, it's because of your human chemistry there's a thing called serotonin that when I am nice to somebody, that person gets the serotonin rush in their brain. That serotonin rush makes them feel good. When they feel good and I see them reacting, I feel good because I get a serotonin rush. And if there's a third person watching this interaction, they get a serotonin rush. Now, why do you think game shows are so popular? There's this girl on a car, jumping up and down, boom, 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 right? There's a host, happy, giving, them the, giving her the car. 
But what about all these people in TV land? Those are the most popular shows. They ain't winning jack shit. <laughs> but they're tuned. They're tuned into the... Because they're all drunk with serotonin. See, it's chemical. It's chemical. It's serotonin. Nature expects you to do certain things. One of the things nature expects you to do is to empower other people. And when you empower other people, nature gives you a reward. Talking about simple, let me digress for a second. You remember that one of the things that was made of a tree? He was a tree in his mouth. Right? You cut a piece of wood and cut a small piece of wood. You cut a piece of wood and cut a piece of wood. उससे कपड़े धो लेते थे और अपनी इस काट रहा उसी से गाड़ी धो ली राइट सर के बाल शाल में शैम्पू शुम्पू तो कोई नहीं होता था राइट फिर आप अमेरिका आए शैम्पू शैम्पू लगाया कंडीशनर लगाया पहले वही पुरात की तरह के बाल होते हैं अब ये हो But why am I here? 
because I want to meet you guys. I want to shake your hand, I want to hug you. I want to look at your eyes when I talk to see what your responses are like. Was successfully used on that project. It is because of you that we sell in 160 countries. It is because of you that we got so and so award. And here's an extra $20,000 for your work. What does that do for the employee? It gives them a serotonin rush. And if you keep your employees high on serotonin, they will never leave you. It's just human chemistry. But nobody teaches us that. Coming back to oxytocin. You know, I come here, I see, I sing Bandaru Sekimari. What does that duck do to you guys? Okay, now listen, I have a big market of our software in Latin America. Latin America is where everybody speaks Spanish. And somehow, it just happens that wherever they speak Spanish, there are always earthquakes. <coughs> Maybe it's the warm blood. Maybe it's the amazing way they love each other. Maybe it's the amazing way they like to party. But what are they? It makes the earth quiver. Okay? And our software is used for designing buildings and bridges to stand up in earthquakes. That's what the software does. So we have a really big market there. Now when I go there, I don't speak Spanish. So what do I do? I start my seminar this way. Yo nunca pensé que pudiera caer con esta pasión que me quema la piel. Volar por tu cuerpo es el cielo tocar. Quiero contigo llegar una noche más. Oh, oh, oh. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> because I really wanted them to know that I, they are important to me. And what does that do? It takes them totally loaded with oxytocin. They're my buddies from that time on. I can do no wrong. But you see, societies in this day and age are completely devoid of serotonin and oxytocin. And it's the system. This human relationship is completely going downhill. When you buy stuff, you go on the online, Amazon, don't don't watch that. Eight hundred and ten miles away. Hey, our society is going to be a very bad place. I'm going to wear my clothes, my tailor is going to make me cut piece. Cut piece, 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 cut you just took a couple of mila masada kisanga. Pusha kipna guy. Kataji chali supe. Now with a punch hunga. Okay. It does face off second. But you see, there was that interaction back and forth, back and forth. So you knew how to deal with a human being. A bit of bath we didn't know, Kersate, they are scared. Email cutting a guardian lady. Sir, Sam ne ja ke baat to kar rahe hain. Sam ne to aao chaliye. Nahi aata. See, because they are afraid to communicate in person. And you see, once you learn the power of oxytocin and the power of serotonin, you have friends and you have employees and you have people that love you everywhere because they are drunk with a drug. You are a legal drug dealer, giving them the drugs that happy people are all drug addicts. They're just addicted to a natural drug. They're trying to raise 125. They already have 25, so they're trying to raise 100 more. So I am saying that I will give 50,000 if all of you together come up with 50,000.
Let's send them home with the 125,000 that they're dreaming of and let's see the impact that it has on the people that we are trying to help. Thank you so much. जिसकी एक नजर को तरसे उन सारे लड़कों के किस्से झूठे किस्से सच्चे किस्से प्यार भरे उस देश किस्से प्यार भरे उस देश को तुमने आखिर क्यों पर छोड़ा था क्यों मतों से मुंह मोड़ा था सब रिश्तों को क्यों तोड़ा था अरे जो भी था क्या थोड़ा था मैं मिलाद नहीं पढ़ रहा ऐसे और तुम ये मिश्रा तमाम इमिग्रेंट्स के लिए कि तुम फूले नहीं समाये थे जब एम्बेसी से आए थे तो फूले नहीं समाये थे जब एम्बेसी से आए थे हर एक को लीजा दिखाते थे और साथ ये कहते जाते थे चंद ही दिनों की बात है यार जब मैं वापस आऊंगा साथ में अपने ढेर से लाल और पत्ता भी लाऊंगा तुमने कब ये सोचा होगा क्या क्या कुछ प्रदेश में होगा अपने देश से होते सोते भी
हर जगह हर पल आपका अपना सफीर पाकिस्तान नजर आता है Kaba Fusion is a pharmacist owned patient focused team of professionals with over 30 years experience providing intravenous medication to patients in the comfort of their own home. Founded by Dr. Sohail Masood, Kaba Fusion has 7 state of the art pharmacies located across the country. Visit us at kabafusion.com to learn more about the benefits of in-home infusion therapy. OPTV आपका अपना चैनल दादी तो आप देख रहे थे सफीर पाकिस्तान आपका अपना प्रोग्राम आपके जज्बात एहसास का तर्जुमान आपके दिलों में घर करने वाला आपकी मेहनत मशक्क़त आपकी आला कारदगी को दूर दूर तक ले जाने वाला ये प्रोग्राम ये वो प्रोग्राम है जो यंग जनरेशन को इंस्पायर करता है और बताता है कि ये वो लोग हैं जो मुल्क से नथिंग इन देर पॉकेट काम दे माप द फ्लोर दे वर्क टू डॉलर पर आवर थ्री डॉलर पर आवर लेकिन अब अमेरिका में राज कर रहे हैं और अपना सिक्का इन्होंने बिठा दिया है तो ये था आज का प्रोग्राम इसके साथ ही अपना मेजबान वकील खान आपसे जा चाहेगा अल्लाह हाफिज़ पाकिस्तान पाइंदाबाद